Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about starch hydrolysis test. Aim and the aim of the starch hydrolysis test is to differentiate bacteria based on their ability to hydrolyze uh, starch with the enzyme alpha amylase. A uh, principle uh, starch is a complex carbohydrate and it is a polysaccharide composed of two constituents. One is amylose and the another one is amylopectin. Amylose is a straight chain polymer of 200 to 300 glucose units and amylopectin is a larger branched polymer group. The alpha D glucose molecule in both amylose and amylopectin are bonded by 1,4 alpha glycosidic acetyl linkage. Uh, the two forms differ in that the amylopectin contains a polysaccharide side chain connected to approximately every 30th uh, glucose in the main chain. Uh, these side chains are identical to the main chain except that the number one carbon of the uh, first glucose in the side chain is bonded to carbon number six of the main chain glucose. Uh, the bond is therefore a 1,6 alpha glycosidic linkage. Uh, starch is uh, too large to pass through the bacterial cell membrane. Therefore, uh, to be of metabolic value to the bacteria, it must, it must first be split into smaller fragments or individual glucose molecules. Organisms that produce and secrete the extracellular enzyme alpha amylase and oligo 1,6 glycosidase are able to hydrolyze starch by breaking the glycosidic linkages uh, between the sugar subunits into maltose, uh, a disaccharide and some monosaccharides such as uh, glucose. Uh, these disaccharides and monosaccharides enters into the cytoplasm of the bacterial cell uh, through a semi-permeable membrane and thereby used by the ETSO enzymes. Uh, the ETSO enzyme amylase uh, is secreted out of the cell into the surrounding media, catalyzing the breakdown of starch into smaller sugars which can then be absorbed by the cells for use. Amylase production is known uh, in some bacteria while uh, well known in case of uh, fungi. A starch hydrolysis test is used to identify the bacteria that can hydrolyze starch uh, using the enzyme alpha amylase and oligo 1,6 glycosidase. Uh, in starch hydrolysis test, uh, starch sugar was inoculated and incubated overnight at 37 degrees Celsius. After incubation, iodine was added to the surface of the starch sugar plate. After the addition of uh, iodine, a characteristic purple-black color will appear in the medium. However, uh, a clear halo zone will appear around the colonies of amylase positive species. A uh, starch hydrolysis test is used to differentiate the member, members of uh, various genera including uh, Bacillus uh, like Bacillus subtilis, Bacillus cereus and uh, Bacillus megatherium uh, which are positive for starch hydrolysis, uh, Bacteroides species, Clostridium species, Cornibacterium species, Fusobacterium species and Enterococcus species. Uh, these genera have both amylase positive and amylase negative species. Uh, the materials required for the starch hydrolysis test are test bacteria, starch agar plate, 10% iodine, inoculation loop and incubator. Procedure uh, Pick a few colonies of test organisms using a sterile swab or inoculation loop and make a single line streak of the unknown bacterium across the starch agar plate and incubate the inoculated uh, starch agar plate overnight at 37 degrees Celsius and after incubation add 2 to 3 drops of 10% iodine solution directly onto the edge of the colonies and wait 10 to 15 minutes and record the results. Uh, finally, observation and results of starch hydrolysis test. Uh, in positive test, characteristic purple black colonies will appear in the medium. However, a clean halo zone will appear around the colonies of the amylase positive species. Uh, in negative test, characteristic purple black color will appear in the medium uh, right up to the edges of isolated colonies of amylase negative species. Uh, this image shows the starch hydrolysis positive and starch hydrolysis negative results. And this zone of clearance shows the starch hydrolysis positive result and this shows the starch hydrolysis negative reaction. That is no zone here, so it is negative. Here, the clear halo zone is observed, so this area is positive. Uh, dear viewers, thank you for your support. Thank you.